waving. I'm not sure what's going on around him. And it, it's quite a familiar sight with high jumpers. You probably have to find a way of asking them why they always want to feed on the, the crowd, encouraging them or clapping for them, and how that gives them an extra meter or so as far as the leaping is concerned. But very often in global events, you have the high jump um, athletes particularly always try to get the, the clap of the crowd or the sound behind them. So perhaps there is a connection there somewhere. Whereas um, athletes would rather want a moment of silence before they take off. Uh, the, the sprinters, um, the high jumpers seem to want all the noise in the world to be able to lift them beyond the bar. And here it goes again with the clap. It's a rhythm that he needs to feed off. It's not just noise, it's a rhythm. Reminds me of more tasks, you know, preparing or lining himself. There he goes. Down. Evans Cadman at 2.16. The gun in. Oh! It's a brilliant leap. Surely he's giving the fans a reason to dream of a medal in the men's high jump. Evans Cadman, no troubles whatsoever. Way beyond the bar. That was smooth. Surely he's won for a medal place. No, he, he got the execution completely right. Um, his assessment of the height is taken off. That there was no way his shoulder was going to come across as we've seen some of the other jumpers. And um, and hit the lift afterwards was also right on point. So that's a, that's a very good jump. And as you mentioned, way above the bar shows that he can go a few more meters up should the competition get that far. 13 high jumpers started and only five remain now the rest of them all clearing out wow and we, we saw something similar in the women's event uh, which was won by rosa monimaya bois that too many of them crashed out too quickly and ultimately she was on her own um you know attempting to jump um high levels and make the olympic uh, qualifying um height, which eventually he she, she couldn't make so I'm, I'm hoping that these guys will be able to stick it out longer just to give us a very exciting uh, contest although i know for the fans they would rather everybody crash it out and the Ghanaians win the medal so two Ghanaians in the top five right now in the high jump and we're in the final lap of the 5000 meters men's final. there you go and that's the uh, bell going we haven't had a lot of the air time for the men's 5000 meters but now we do and it's shipping out to be some race and uh, what you see is uh, Gabriel Metzger that is Ethiopia's uh, Bewe Gebrevet negotiating the band coming on to the home straight it's gonna be just him Gebrevet Bewe no one else really close to the Ethiopian running really well the 30 year old but he's being pursued by the athlete from Eritrea but he's not going to be denied. It is Gabivet Bewe who has taken the gold in the men's 5,000 meters. And he points to the Ethiopian crowd in the stands. And then that's the cross. Hallelujah. Praise the Holy Mary. And he gets a celebration from the high jumper who has failed out, by the way. Well, this race was mostly run on the blind side of the crowd because there were so many events taking place. Absolutely. But the key thing was that he picked this moment and the timing was crucial. This, is, this was a very controlled race where they were bunched up together and when he made his move, none of them could stick to him. Um, he lapped a few of the athletes on his way to finishing. Uh, the athletes from Eritrea tried to stick with him, but it was not to be. He had just too much energy. And um, it's Ethiopia again who win the distance running here at the African Games. And, and there is the moment he decided enough was enough. I'm going to do this all by myself. And nobody quite could keep up with him. It's actually the athlete Somalia. from Somalia. Greater teeth. You could that tell the difference. That is Abdullahi Jama Mohammed. Jama was at his wit's end, you know, pulling everything he could just to keep up uh, with the Ethiopian athlete. But in the end, it just wasn't good enough. And um, he wins. Um, this time it was not multiple yeah. Ethiopia podium finishes for it was just yeah. one but they will celebrate together so it's Ethiopia one Somalia two and Kenya wins the bronze medal in the men's 5,000 meters Gabrivet Bewe with the 
wonderful win. Yeah. Today he is celebrating his 5,000 meter win. And you made a very good point about this race being run on the blind side of the, the fans. And not just them, even for the television audience, this race didn't get a lot of uh, air time. It didn't. Um, well, it, it's because of the simultaneous nature of the event. Typically, we've had one after the other. Field events ongoing at the yep. moment. High jumpers waiting for their turn. Long yeah. jump. And now the javelin can resume because the reason why the javelin wasn't taking place. So there was the javelin. There was well. men's javelin, men's long jump, men's high jump, and women's shot put. And here's the victory ceremony for the men's 200 meters. Um, yeah, you can understand why there's a roar in the stadium because Ghana's national anthem will be heard at the stadium for the second time since the athletics program began. That's Ekanim Joseph of Nigeria with a wonderful bronze medal, 20.80 seconds. Uh, this is the first time I have seen him without his do rag. <laughs> Such a charismatic figure, and he's been so ubiquitous throughout the whole competition with the do rag and um, his very stylish warm up sessions and trying to um, get the fans behind him. And um, well deserved bronze, I'm sure he would have fancied his chances of upgrading that to a silver or a gold but hey claude has been one of the standout athletes right from when he started running the heat winning his heat in the outside lane you know from from lane eight and it was quite clear that he was going to be one to look out for but eventually he slightly fell short because there was a commonwealth bronze medalist who had just missed out on the four by 100 gold who seemed quite determined to appease the local fans with a 200 uh, meter gold and that's exactly what's happened <laughs> so the gold medal will go to Garner's Joseph Paul Amo, bronze medalist from the Commonwealth Games in Birmingham he's now African Games champion he didn't even make the final in the African Games from five years ago in the 200 meters no he didn't and this is the culmination of the journey uh, that has sometimes had people questioning whether he was the real deal. But I saw him jogging to the finish line in the heat of the 200 meters. You could tell that this was something that he was prepared for and that he was a cut above the rest of the field. And he's fulfilled that potential finally by bringing gold. He's a former Ghana national record holder. His fastest time over this distance is 20.05. His winning time here is 20.70. And now we shall all be quiet for the national anthem. homeland bells across the speakers in the stadium you bet the celebrations will not just be inside this stadium but across the whole country and particularly in Kumasi and in the campus of Prempe College many students would have been inspired by what this man has done started his journey as a footballer he was the overall 